Hey guys, it's the Gonzi Timber again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Unity 3D. In this new video, I'm going to show you a new Unity feature which is available from the Package Manager and it's called the Device Simulator. With the Device Simulator, you can see what's playing behind the scenes, which is some of the feature sets that are available in this version. You can basically change it to test on an iPhone device, you can change it to test on an iPad device, perhaps you want to test it on a Google Pixel or a different custom device. So let me show you how it works by jumping into Unity. Thank you guys. So let me show you what I have here, which is a project that I created to demonstrate a couple of features in augmented reality. The video purpose today is going to be to focus on, you know, how the device simulator works. And in previous versions of the of Unity, the only thing that we could do is basically change the device here. You can go in and say, okay, I want to see how this looks on the iPhone XS Max. And you can, you know, you can scale it, you can go in and go out, and, and you can play it as well and see and see how it looks. But it's not really intu intuitive when it comes to, you know, testing, testing how it looks on different perspective. You may want to rotate it to the right, you may want to rotate it to the left. You may want to have more, basically, you know, flexibility on these options in here. And also Unity hasn't been added, adding a lot of different options, and it's just not as intuitive. So I want to show you the new version that Unity has which is called Device Simulator, and I really, really love it. So all you need to do to get it going is go into Window, click on Package Manager. Then in, a, in the Package Manager, you can go into Device, type in Device, and then it's going to give you an option for Device Simulator. You can look at you know previous options. I'm going to be looking at 222, which is the latest as of today. This was published on April 23. So and let's just go ahead and click on Install. So most, most of you know that Unity went to more of a package. It's more like GitHub and, you know, you're basically like cloning tools and packages and, and importing them. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm using the package manager to import them. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to, you know, if you want to test this on different devices, how can you test it to make sure that, you know, you simplify your workflow as a developer. So now that I have it, the only thing that we need to do now, if you look at here, we have an option called simulator and also one for game. So if I want to look at the simulator, then it's going to give me this nice, beautiful view of right now it has the Apple, the Apple iPad fifth generation selected. So let's say that I want to see how this looks on that device. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play and just use the, you know, just use the simulator. And this tool allows me to draw in augmented reality. So I can go ahead and draw something here. I can bring in my menu. And you can see that everything is lined up perfectly, and that's because I spent a lot of time in making sure that this application was going to work fine. So let's say that I select an effect, and I, I can add an effect here, and let's add a couple more things. I'm going to go ahead and, and draw a little bit more, so we can just draw here, and perhaps draw here. We can also change the color of the last line that I did, and, and I can keep going, right? The other thing that I can do is, let's say that I want to... We can add some text and it's going to say, you know, in this text, I'm going to go ahead and change the text and let me make sure that I bring in the menu. So this is one of the things that it's going to be difficult, right? You're, you're developing for one device, but you need to test it in multiple devices. So I don't know if all of these UI elements are going to fit okay in different devices. So let's say that I want to see how this looks, you know, if I'm rotating it. In this case, this application is only supported on portrait mode or the basically the the flip portrait. So if I want to look at it and see on landscape, making sure that my device is going to support that. In my case, this is what I support, so it shows you that. So you have this rotate, you can rotate it to the right, you can rotate to the left. The other cool thing that I really, really enjoy, especially because I, I've been having a lot of issues with iPhone devices, you know how the iPhone has kind of like a, a little opening in here. And let's say that we go ahead and look at, for instance, I'm, I want to look at the iPhone 11 which is the one that i have and this is one thing that i i really hate that apple did is they added this you know kind of like this opening so it made it really difficult for developers to to make sure that the things were look okay so in this case what unity did is they added this safe area which is really cool because now when you're when you're testing you can come here and say okay i want to look at the safe area and this is a safe area, so I'm going to be positioning the UI elements. So in this case, the UI works fine. I can see, you know, if I want to hide that, I can hide it. If I want to bring in my menu to see how it looks, looks like I have some issues with the UI on this device, so I'm going to have to fix that. But let's say that I want to test and see how this looks on the Apple 
iPhone XS Max. And the same thing here it looks, in this case, it looks fine. So I can draw, I can, let's see if I want to draw. I can actually hide that. We can go back to drawing here. I got to hide the menu, otherwise it's not going to let me draw. And then things work. I can move the lines around if I want to move the lines around. I can also rotate it and everything is working fine. The other options that they also have is if you want to, let's say that I want to change this, right? And I don't want to enable the full screen mode or you may want to enable the full screen mode. In this case, it doesn't allow me, but for some devices, like if I look at the, you can go back into the Google Pixel 2. So in this case, they have what's called a full screen mode and not a full screen mode. So if I want to uncheck it, you can see how it looks in full screen, how it looks when it's not in full screen. I can also tell the system, you know, whether I want to do auto rotation or if I don't want to allow auto rotation, you have options for portrait, portrait upside down, landscape left, landscape right. So these are just some of the emulations that you can you can try for allowing, you know, auto rotation of your UI. In my case, I don't allow it, so it's not going to auto rotate anything. So, and then the other things that you can also do, you can change the system language if you want to test and see how your basically your culture awareness is working you can change this from english to a different language in my case i don't I haven't implemented that but you could do that as well and we can go back into english you can also tell the system whether you you know you have internet or not so if you if you want to test and see how your application reacts to not having internet you can do that if you want to see how it reacts you know via carrier data network or if you want to check it out with a local area network you can also emulate that and you can also emulate whether you have low memory or not so the other cool thing that i can also do here let's say that i make some changes in here and I have a really weird resolution and i set it to that and you may want to test because not all these options are going to be you know there are millions of devices for android so unity doesn't provide you all of those so you can also override some of these values and if you want to go back to normal you can just click on reload and it's going to go back to you know what you had originally so if I want to test, you know, I want to test another effect here. Let's say that I want to test the stars to see how they look. And I may want to see how that looks on the iPad. In my case, I may want to check. Let's say that I want to check the iPad Pro and see how it looks on the iPad Pro. I can bring it in. I can change the size of my brush here and I start drawing and see how, how that looks now that I have a bigger, you know, a bigger screen. And you can see that everything, everything is working. I can go ahead and test you know, test a different effect. Maybe I want to put effect right here or right there perhaps. And, and you know, any, anyhow, everything is working well there. You can also, we can go back into another, maybe the Samsung Note 4. And, you know, know that some of these devices I haven't even tested. So you can see that this one is kind of squeezing the UI a little bit. So that tells you something. You may need to do some rework and some, some adjusting of the UI and see how that works. You can also see some additional information on the device that I think is really helpful. This will tell you the operating system that this is targeting, also the CPU that this has, the GPU, and also the resolution. And like I said, you can also override it in here if you wanted to. And if I want to go to, maybe you want to go to an older device here, the iPhone 6, just to see how this looks. And I can tell you right now, this is not going to look right because this is, Right, I can see that it's not working. So let me go ahead and go into maybe the iPhone XX Max and you can see how it looks and looks like it's looking okay. I can also change the scale. That's another option I didn't show you. And just to see how the UI looks. And if I want to go back to normal, I can click on fit to a screen and that's going to be, you know, going back to normal. And like I said, you can also click on safe area. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions on any of these options, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you guys have any questions on the device simulator, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out LearnXR.io where I'm doing VR training and also upcoming augmented reality training. Also, make sure to check out Patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code and also what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.